Okay, spiritual experiences. They might be a little bit weird, a little bit different, a little bit unusual, and that's the fun part. So, I thought I'd explain a few different uh, spiritual experiences from my own personal journey, and also from those that I see around me, I've talked to, uh, the, you know, the high vibrational healers and beautiful people they are, and also through sharing and stepping other people through similar experiences, so they can have a you know, provide a little bit more understanding of the unusual things that may be happening to you and going through. And perhaps some, uh, and some optimism for what can be coming up. So, if we start at, at the start, okay, we realize the divine within. You know, at some point, we may have had some great personal development, you know, doing some good things for ourselves, having a good diet and lifestyle, and, you know, improving our mind. But then, at some point, we're going to realize, hang on, the power is really here and that I can improve myself and I can achieve things by taking action. And usually at that stage there's some significant dietary improvements. And I mean it's not, you know, the standard stuff you get in society, you know, the meat and three veg that I grew up with at home. Uh, you know, lots of people think that they've got a good diet, uh, and unless they've studied it, they generally don't. Uh, or at least there can be significant improvements based on their five element balance and what organ is there actually there to fix or what system is, is needs to be cleaned out. So usually people are uh, having their diet from their past history and it's, it's not suiting this stage right now and then leading towards in the future as well. So a little, a few adjustments there is always helpful. Uh, so there may be, you know, you become interested in some slow practices. You know, it might be meditation. For me, it was Qigong and Tai Chi. I really liked some of the really slow movements and allowed me to connect within. Um, whatever it is for you, is slow practices are beautiful. There may be some emotional clearing work that you like to do on yourself or maybe in a group. And it's always beautiful to have a group or your tribe to, you know, to share experiences so we can create, create an understanding of what we're going through, support and assist uh, through the sharing our own experiences and what worked for us. Maybe you might want to try this, see how it goes. Worked well for me. And we don't normally find some sort of energy work at that stage, you know, whether it's group meditations or, you know, emotional clearing or some, um, you know, going within into our own mind and, and seeing what's actually there. That's actually all beautiful practices. Uh, and then at a certain vibration, people will have what I call major download <laughs> oh and you know you've done some great work for yourself your organs are running better the nervous system is nice it's slow you've cleared a lot of emotional garbage then all of a sudden the body says all right we can let go of all this gunk you know uh, to share one of my experiences i went on a bushwalk up in the blue mountains just outside of sydney here and it was a full-on you know like a 25 to 30 kilometer walk for the day up and down quite some steep areas in, with a bushwalking group and you know I'm all, I was always eating well but I, I had an apple in the afternoon at like afternoon tea and of course acidic fruit mixing with tuna at lunchtime even though it was a three hour gap my system had become sensitive to what I'd eat to a certain degree and they mixed together and caused some fermentation and everything wanted to come out and I'm like we're climbing a mountain and I couldn't stop to stop the group because we we're running late we got lost for an extra hour I'm holding on for dear life to everything that's ever been inside of me for about three hours it wasn't fun uh, some discipline focus required and then when we got to the toilet eventually I downloaded for about 30 minutes like like nothing else has ever happened like that in the past before. And then when I got to a friend's house an hour later, I was on the toilet for another hour just downloading stuff. It was amazing that, hang on, that much stuff came out of this body. Um, it, I couldn't believe it, really. There was probably, in total, about 12 courtesy flushes. Yeah. It just seemed to pile out, you know, our organs are holding on so much, especially if our, we're feeling insecurity and we've got some back problems, we can be holding on to so much gunk 
So when that comes out, it's such a massive relief. It really feels like you've dumped years worth of stuff and emotionally and toxically you have, and there's such a release from that. So I do like to create that uh, situation for people so they can really get rid of stuff and then their organs can be free and therefore their mind can be much freer as well. Uh, and then once, you're, once you've downloaded and got rid of a whole bunch of stuff, there'll be some vibrational bodily messages in your meditation and slow practices. Um, it seems to start off with, okay, it might be like this area. It's a, a bit of a shake, kind of a, a gentle vibration. That, and it's, at first it can be a little unusual feeling because it hasn't happened before. You, you, you seem to come to an understanding that it's a gentle healing. You know, someone out there, up there, whatever it's called, is taking care of you and just bringing your attention. Hey, you might need to focus some of your loving attention on your digestion. Great. Pay attention to those and basically do what we're told from the divine management is a smart move. I certainly did. It helped me tremendously. Uh, and then it moves from whole sections to individual organs. So for me, I'd get a lot of vibration on my liver and gallbladder. So I was, and then a, a, a yoga teacher friend said, hey, have you tried this liver and gallbladder flush? Give me that, I'm doing that right now. You know, so two days later I did, and that cleansed my liver remarkably. And then after I'd done that and changed my diet and lifestyle to, to sort out my liver, it become the spleen's turn. That would get a vibration message, just a bit of a shake, a bit of a shudder. So it felt tremendous actually. So, adjust diet and lifestyle to the spleen. That's the message from the universal upstairs management. And that becomes uh, more and more aware and more obvious once you achieve balance. So, those organs that are giving you the messages, once you've sorted them out and the connection between each of the individual organs, balance occurs. And that is absolutely wonderful because when your body and your mind, your subconscious mind that's stored in the solar plexus and that or your connection to your soul is in balance, then you get little messages or instead of going to the gym today, I should probably go for a swim at the beach because you need more water or you just need a balance there. Or maybe your diet and your lifestyle, you just are drawn to certain things that are going to provide and keep you at that balanced state of equilibrium. It's really quite wonderful and I, I'd like to guide you through it and get to that stage because it's tremendous and very few people are, have actually got to this stage yet. I know people who've been doing this work for 40, 50 years and they're not even close to balance. And of course when you get balance in your body and your organs, you have emotional balance, mental balance and throughout your entire bodies you actually have spiritual balance. And that is the major goal to get to for most people. Because once we get to balance, it's much easier to stay balanced and rise and then just make a few slight, smaller, gentle adjustments with the messages that you're getting. Uh, I quite like having that balance with the vibrational messages. It happens for me on the train quite a lot because you've got a gentle rocking of your nervous system. And I'm usually meditating with some nice relaxing music for, you know, up to an hour. And often I'll get, oh, kidney left kidney is getting a vibrational message okay that needs a bit of a fix it's getting some energy there and then I'll, I, I know that I've been pushing too hard I've been I need to rest a little bit I maybe need to have some more water and um, and that's more minerals is usually the message so aha uh -huh, thank you and everybody is receiving these messages well they get them but they're just not quite energetically sensitive enough just yet to feel them and then act accordingly. So sometimes a guide is helpful for that. Uh, and once you achieve balance, you'll actually get to meditation. And I mean the meditation where there's no thoughts, no thinking, no feeling, nada. Yeah. How's that feel? For those who have achieved it, you know what I'm talking about. And it doesn't happen all that often for some people. But really, we need to get to emotional balance in the subconscious bodily temple to get to proper meditation. And it's not concentrating, it's not focused, it's not contemplating what's going on. Nothing. 
it's absolute bliss, I can tell you. you it really keeps you coming back for more. Uh, and then, once your energy is high enough, and you're balanced, and you can achieve nothing nada meditation, then you'll have enough energy in your nervous system, and stored in your spiritual energy, in your energy field, to tackle the core wound. Yeah. It's, it can take people a long time to get to this one, but once you do, that's the, that's the core wound that you were sent here in this lifetime to fix. It's a big one. Yeah. But I can guarantee you that once you've dealt with this one, you're probably going to need a hand. Um, I'm getting the Satcha Bumps, which is a, management from the, a message from the upstairs management. Everybody needs a hand for their core wound because it's such a big head stuff around and it really overwhelmingly is an experience that just can wipe you out so this is the time to um, seek support uh, another message definitely seek support for that one please um, I'd love to help you out if that works for you uh, I, I really needed some help with that one um, I, had to, I went to a spiritual cer ceremony with a group and it was all about my, you know, the passing of my mother when I was 18 and then my divorce and then relationships with all of my beautiful feminine um, previous relationships and sisters and like someone died at the same time. It was all encompassing. It was so very difficult to process. So that's real nurturing time. A, yeah, time off work, some nature time. I went for a walk and a swim on the beach and then had this ceremony where I could talk over what was going on and I had everybody helping out and clearing out some what was some proper deep dark yucky energy I was crying in abundance and it, there was so much heat in my body it was ridiculous so that took me three days to process which I was quite happy with because it was such a big way to go through it and but that is that the key is having a relaxed comfortable nervous system that can process and of your organs moving comfortably to be able to get that flowing and, and do it with any degree of, of uh, relative ease. It's amazing. Uh, after that one, you start to feel your chakras much, much, much easier. I know it sounds a bit like spiritually wanky is one way to describe it, but it happens. Like some people have dominant chakras or which ones are others. Uh, there's usually been some purification going on here. Definitely has to be purification in between major download, major download and balance. And then that allows the feeling of your chakras. And of course, in a journey of self-realization, being able to feel with your senses your energy and knowing this one's out or this one's imbalanced, then it's very easy for you to come to a decision or be guided to a decision fix it to do this one really it's very helpful uh, at that point you'll generally have enough energy that you've, you've dealt with your core wounds so you've got enough energy flow going through so the organs have dealt with the emotional stuff that has been stored there to raise your kundalini and man like it's there's a it's it's amazing it's wonderful there is a lot of people who have achieved it not a huge amount I know 20 worldwide healer network and they are sensational people they've done the, their work they will continue to do their work because they're at a high vibration now they're only going to get better while making those little fine adjustments to achieve higher levels and at that stage is where your spiritual journey really starts yeah I know a fair few things to go through to get to that stage but that's the standard that we want to, you know, have completed and then get through and continue up further straight up through the Merkaba. Because once you raise your Kundalini, you can guarantee that you have regained control of your own mind. If you're out of the social programming, all this television messages and society messages to say, you've got to do this, you've got to be like that. You've got to be. No, you're yourself. And you're your soul. That's it. And you can 
basically you can say that you've got your own control of your own mind although really by that stage you'll realize that it's a server system with the management upstairs and you're just receiving messages and then it's interplay between your mind and do you just do what your messages are telling you more that one usually oh, after this attunement this is the fourth stage of meditation that your energy body actually gets upgraded like because you've got balance and your energy is flowing nicely your, your organs are generating energy and they're growing and growing then whatever little adjustments that have been found out that were stored emotional stuff or experiences from the past then they're in your subtle body so those little attunements are just gentle they're, they're not really they don't affect the gross body as much they're more mental and and comfortable so getting upgraded your energy then you can seriously start getting up the levels of the Merkaba and you by this stage you're done with the seven major chakras and then you're continuing up higher and higher at an extraordinary rate because your energy is going straight up you're straight through connected and you're getting your messages of where to improve yourself next we really want to get you on this stage it's quite beautiful by that stage you are the guide you don't really need a guru or anyone else to help you there will be messages from beautiful people but you already know who you are and what you need to do uh, this one, Tantra. The real meaning of Tantra is to weave the left and the right, the masculine and the feminine. So in order to achieve Tantra, your nervous system has to be so comfortable and aligned and built up enough energy to weave the two together. And this one happened for me in uh, February or so, 2016. And during a Kundalini class, it was like, my uh, energetically and, and it's more a vibration sensation the two hemispheres of my brain were sewed together and then on the top of the bindu point on the top of the crown it was like a spot world I went <laughs> and therefore the two hemispheres of my brain but also the two sides of my nervous system were energetically fused so it's almost impossible be, to be off balance because it's solid. You know, you can just have things bounce off your energy field. They're not going to bother you and you don't react because you've already dealt with those thought patterns and emotional reactions in the past. This is quite empowering. It's quite wonderful. Um, and then all wonderment happens. It's just a sense of contentment you see the sense of beauty in the world and in mother nature and everything around you and you try to see that in the people around that one's a somewhat a tricky one but you know the the universe is a wonderful place and when you get to all wonderment you are part of the universe and you are all wonderment how about that so hopefully that's provided some sort of you know perspective and learn a couple of things so yeah feel free to leave a comment down below